Today's video is about Recycler View. For a beginner, understanding Recycler View is very tough. But after you watch this video, you will get a lot of information like what all are used in this code and why these all are used. I'm using an image and two text views in each rows of the Recycler View. I'm planning to show a list of social media sites. And for that, we are using String Array, Adapter, View Holder, Layout Inflator, and Layout Manager. So watch this video till end carefully and comment under this video if this really helped you. And you will get this code from the GitHub link given below. First, I'm creating a project by selecting Empty Activity, giving Application Name, then click on Finish. In the XML file, delete the default text view and from the design part, drag Recycler view from container to the constraint layout in component tree. Now you can see a widget asking to add dependency for Recycler view. Click on OK. Then check on app's Gradle file. You can see the dependency for Recycler view there. I will give this dependency in description also so that you can add it manually if needed. Going back to the XML file, you can see the list items in the design. Now I am giving ID as rv underscore social underscore sites. Now I am giving constraints. In main activity, I am creating object for recycler view as rv social sites. Then in on create, I am giving find view by ID of RV social sites. After that, I am going to create string array of names of social media sites. And another string array for description. I am giving this is a default description. At the last, the data shown in the string arrays will be displayed as shown in the image. Now, next step is declaring these string arrays in the main activity. I am giving str social sites array and str description array. You can give just string 1 and string 2. But when you give a descriptive name for variables or class names, that will be a good practice. Now, I'm copying some logos to drawable folder. And then I'm creating an int array for images as img logo. Now, in on create, initialize the string variable with the string array given in string.xml. For that, Type str social sites equals get resources dot get string array r dot array dot social sites. Do the same for str description also. We will initialize image array here with the image names. Here you need to make sure that you are keeping the same order of the string array of social media sites for the image array also. I mean, if you give YouTube first in social sites array, you need to give r.drawable.youtube first in img logos. The next step is creating an adapter class. For that, right click on package name, click on new, java class, then give name as my adapter. Then type extends recyclerview.adapter. In the angular bracket, we need to give a view holder class. On click of Alt Enter, Android Studio will ask to create that view holder class. I have given its name as my view holder, which extends recyclerview.viewholder. Now I will tell you what view holder is. A view holder describes an item and metadata about its place within the recycler view. Each view holder is in charge of displaying a single item with a view. In our app, 
Each view holder might represent a social media site, including its name, image, and description. Click on Alt Enter to implement methods on Create View Holder, on Bind View Holder, and Get Item. Don't worry about this methods, I will describe about it in detail. Next, we have to create a resource file for the views in each row. For that, right click on Layout, New, Layout Resource File, giving its name as My underscore row underscore item. We are going with the constraint layout. I am changing its height to wrap content. In the design part, drag an image view. I am giving a default image of IC Launcher for now. Then drag two text views, one for the site name and one for the description. Now I am aligning these and giving constraints to image view. Then set its height and width as 100 dp and give ID as IMG logos. Then I am giving constraints to text views as shown. Now I am giving ID for first text view as TV social sites and giving ID for second text view as TV description. Giving text as social site and description respectively. In the component tree, you can see warning, hardcoded string should use edge string resource. I have created video about how to clear that warning. You can check in the iCard above or in the description. Clearing that warning will increase the performance of your app. Now I'm changing text color of social site text view. I'm giving text appearance as large text size as 24 sp and text style as bold and then changing color of description text view giving text size as 18 sp coming back to my adapter there i am typing context m context then two string array variables for site and description and an int array variable we created these to hold the data's passed from main activity, we will write code for passing soon. Then I'm creating a constructor for my adapter class, which has arguments as context, then two strings, and an integer array, which will be holding data's like from which activity this adapter is called, and the social media site's name, descriptions, and logo images. Now initialize the already created variables with these arguments. In main activity, we need to write code to call this adapter and pass these data. In onCreate method, create an object for my adapter as mAdapter and pass arguments as shown. In my adapter, an onCreate view holder create object for layout inflator. and then inflate it with xml file of item then second parameter is parent then third parameter attached to root as false we have stored this inflator in a view as this on create view holder is connected with my view holder class i am creating an object for my view holder by passing view and return that object so about layout inflator, it is a class used to instantiate layout XML file into its corresponding view objects. In the my view holder class, create objects for text views and image view, then give find view by ID. In on bind view holder method, set text for the text views and set image resource for image view by assigning view holder to a position. Text views and image view objects are called using an object of my view holder named holder. Holder and position is already passed 
as arguments. On bind view holder method uses the view holder's position to determine what the contents should be. And then in get item count, return the length of list by giving mstr sites dot length. Or you can give mimg logos dot length or the description variable dot length. Coming back to main activity for last steps. Then set adapter to recycler view. Create object for layout manager class. Recycler view fills itself with the views provided by a layout manager that we provide. We can set layout manager as linear layout manager or grid layout manager. Here we are using linear layout manager. You can give set has fixed size as true if you are sure that number of list is fixed in your recycler view. It will help you to increase the performance of your app. So I'm going to run this app. And this is the final result. I hope this video helped you to understand about Recycler View. We will come up with the continuation of Recycler View in other videos. Code will be available in the link given in description. Please support this channel if this video really helped you. We'll come up with the next video. Thanks for watching.